2017 is coming to an end. I know this is on Christmas Day, but I feel like this was the best day to put it up. Um, it's coming to an end, man. What a year it's been. It's been a uh, crazy year, at least for me. Um, at the beginning, I was working full-time, just broke 10K subs. Uh, that took me about two years to accomplish. Here we are, another 11K subs later. Almost 12. So, you know, it's been a pretty good year. Um, I was working full-time. At the beginning, I ended up being able to step away from my job and become a full-time content creator doing YouTube and streaming. Um, and a couple of other things on the side. That's not my only income. So I guess it's a little bit misleading to say I'm a full-time. But that is what I do with most of my time, nonetheless. Um, that's irrelevant. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy year, man. Um, and I just wanted to throw this video together to kind of show you guys. Or, like, I don't know, we could kind of, like, recap it together. I'm not going to go over the clips exactly, but just kind of, you know, we can just watch some of the clips from throughout the year. And I just want to really thank you guys, man. Everybody that's... Uh, supported the channel, whether you subbed to me a week ago, whether you subbed to me yesterday, um, or if you've been here all year, or if you've been here since 2016, it doesn't matter, um, <laughs> the support means a lot, um, I've talked about this in tons of videos, but for those who don't know, this has been a very long time dream of mine, and I have, uh, I've been trying to do this since I was in high school, a sophomore year of high school, so 2010, I graduated in 2012, um, and yeah, I, I've been trying to, you know, really get something to work for me on YouTube, and uh, I was able to manage that, so that's really cool. And that's not just because of me or anything like that. Like, obviously, I can put in as much effort as I want. But if nobody's watching, then it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it's not that it doesn't matter. It's just that I can't make it my job if nobody's watching. Um, I, I still think it matters. I mean, when, when back when, before anybody watched, I want to elaborate on this real quick because I don't want anybody to get discouraged in case you were in the position that I was in. Because before anybody watched... My friends and I watched the videos that we made, like, all my friends, like, not all my friends, but some of my friends made videos, I made videos, and we liked to, we enjoyed watching each other's videos, and, and, and because of that, it was worth it, like, we had fun, and it was fun, and that's, that's all that mattered, you know, um, and I know you guys have heard that before, but I, I genuinely do feel that way, that it's not a waste of time if you enjoy it, um, now, for me, I did have an agenda where I did want to make it my job, and I was hopeful that in the future, I could eventually get a really good audience, and, uh, I have, I have done that, and yeah, you know, I've uh, been all over the place this year, um, you know, I got to do some cool things, I have got some cool opportunities, uh, met some great people, you know, just, you know, it, it's been crazy, you know, it's just been, I just, I'm looking back on it, and it seems like it went by so quickly, and I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys might feel the same way, but when you really think of all that you accomplished this year, all that you did, you know, um, it's just, it's been crazy, and I'm super excited to continue to move forward, uh, you know, like, I was able to join Straight Rippin', that's a recent development, but that is, that is crazy to me, you know, I, like, I've been, I've been working for this for a long time, not, not specifically Straight Rippin', but just working to try to improve my content and get as far as I can when it comes to YouTube and streaming, and hopefully make my channel the best it can be, I, I want to have a big audience, obviously, that's, like, a big goal of mine, like, to hit 100,000 subscribers, and then maybe eventually a million, but, you know, um, I want my content to be good, you know, I, I want the people that subbed to me at 10k to still feel like they subbed me for, you know, like, I don't know, like, is, there's a difference when, when a channel gets bigger, it's kind of hard to put into words, but like, right now, I like, I have a smaller community, so it's like a more personal, like, relationship with my viewers where I can, like, I read all my comments, and I do see every single comment, you know, um, but that's because I can, because my comments aren't out of hand, you know, like, I get a good amount of comments, obviously, but that's not too many that I can't read, but if I were to get up to 100,000 subscribers, you know, my channel, my view, my videos would hopefully be getting so many views then that it would kind of be hard for me to do that, so, like, the relationship would change is my point, like, the channel would be different, uh, but I want my content to still be good, I don't want my content to become lazy or bad or, uh, you know, something that is so different from what it used to be, I would like to try to keep it consistent. Like, obviously, as creators change and as time goes on, uh, you know, their their content changes too. You know, you look at people that, like Nadeshot, for example, he made his career competing in Call of Duty and making YouTube content. He was one of the real first people to make, like, um, competitive Call of Duty videos like that with a personality, and then he so happened to also, you know, be on Optic and did a good job in competing, so it was a really interesting thing for people when they could, like, watch their favorite pro and then go home, 
or like watch him at a tournament and when he got home he'd be making videos regularly for people to watch so there was uh, like a big difference with the personality there but now he like mainly vlogs he doesn't compete anymore and he just vlogs and his content's different now I still think he makes good content but my point is that I would just like to keep up my content. I want my content to still be good. I want people to still enjoy it. I don't want people to, uh, I wouldn't want to just tomorrow become a daily vlogger is my point, you know? Um, and I don't know if it's going to be necessary for me to change my content some just to kind of really get to 100k. I think that might be necessary because as it is right now, channels like mine, the only other person that really makes content similar to me that's that's about the same size, two people, um, Talkwin or the Reachway and Uber Nick, um, both of them. Now Talkwin's is a little bit different than Nick and I's, but still very similar. Uh, but Nick and I pretty make pretty similar content. Um, uh, he's just not as focused on like the sweaty stuff as I am. Um, but even so, he's at 35k, and I'm at 21, almost 22. And I bring that up to say that like people that are in the Halo community that are really making big numbers, like Hidden Xperia. Um, and Luke the Notable, you know, their content is so different, and no, they make they make good videos. There's a reason why they're doing well for themselves, but they're get, they're climbing up towards that close to 100k. Uh, Spiteful's almost there. He's been there almost there for a long time. He's he's you know, just an example. Of what I'm talking about, like he's pretty much gotten all the subscribers he can out of the content that he makes. He makes like custom game content stuff. He makes real real quality content, but in order to really push it to that next level. You know, it's, you have to diversify yourself a little bit. Now, like, Hidden Experience and Luke the Notable make, like, lore videos, you know, talking about the campaign and the story, and people are really interested in that, and that does well for them. But see, like, I'm not going to do that because, one, now it's it would become an oversaturated market, I believe. And secondly, I'm not into lore like that, so I'm not going to make videos I'm not really passionate about. And I say all that to say that in order to really hit that 100K, it's going to be difficult because... Um, Right now, it just doesn't seem like there's enough people that are interested in Arena Halo and just personality-based, you know, gameplay, stuff like that, that I could really do that. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to be making Halo. That's not leading up to a point where I'm going to say that. Um, I actually feel really good about Halo right now for the first time in a while. Now, the beginning of the year was bright because we had all this social stuff to do. We had Skirmish, Triple Team, Shotty Snipes, tons of fun stuff to do. And they kind of stripped that away from us, which is still a questionable decision in my opinion. Um, but, you know, that's that's up to them. I don't know. Uh, but now we have good settings back in competitive, and we have MLG returning to Halo. And I'm thinking that if you looked at what happened with Gears of War when MLG picked it up, it got big again, man. People started getting more interested in Gears of War, and things started looking up for Gears of War. And now there's, like, an actual good community around it. People are watching the game, people are enjoying the game, people are playing the game. Um, and I'm really hoping that that is what happens with Halo. I, I, I genuinely do. With MLG coming back, I think this is a possibility, and I think with, if we get news, you know, on the new game, we uh, will all have something to look forward to, and we could potentially, you know, just attract a whole bunch of new players to get interested in the game, and then we could maybe see some big growth for Halo, and in turn to some big growth for myself, um, which would be awesome, because if more people are interested in the competitive side of things, more people will likely be more interested in my content. But if not, then unfortunately, I, I do believe things will have to change. But I'm not going to give up. Uh, I'm not going to just bow down if Halo kind of, you know, fizzles out. But right now, I genuinely, I'm, I'm, I think things are looking up. I'm pretty excited. I've been actually really having fun playing Halo again. And um, I just hope it continues to look forward, look up. And uh, hopefully we can all, you know, as a Halo community grow together, have more active, just forums, more, more content out there, more streams. Uh, from everybody, not just me, uh, you know, it's just, it's fun when there's a lot of stuff going on, that was the way it was at the beginning of Halo 5, and it was pretty hype, now, I was kind of a nobody back then, but we made it, we made it, boys, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I know this has kind of just been all over the place, but I don't know, I just wanted to sit down and talk for a bit, just kind of share my thoughts with 2017, it's been stressful, it's been great, it is, um, it's definitely been the most stressful year of my life, and I think part of that has to do with the fact that I am doing this full-time now, um, but just, it's with Halo specifically, it's just, we've, we, we've had some dark days. These last couple months have been dark, but things are finally looking up. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, it's been rough being a content creator. I'm not trying to complain, obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, that, uh, you know, this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So, no, I don't want to, 
you know, I don't want to like finally get here and then start, you know, regretting it. But uh, it's just with, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't summarize my thoughts, I guess, properly. But anyways, listen, thank you guys to everybody that hung out this year, last year, whatever. If you show me support in any way, shape or form, to all the people that have, you know, uh, been a patron, you guys are awesome. Anybody that's donated to me on stream, anybody that's subscribed to my stream, anybody that's contributed in any way, even if you just watch my videos, like my videos, all that stuff. I love you guys, and I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's let's hope we can keep on getting some good content moving forward. Uh, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but literally, I'm going out of town for like a week, and I won't be streaming. And I thought, hey, you know, let's just sit down and have a chat, and I can just kind of share my thoughts, just what's going through my head, and. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people like this more real stuff. So this is my this is the real stuff. I didn't have an idea other than I was just gonna chat with you guys about 2017, and uh, you know, here it is. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching some of this gameplay go back. I just pulled my old stream highlights so you guys can see the progression of uh, one my hair, and then two uh, <laughs> the uh, just I don't know everything going through my overlays changing and all that. I don't know. It's just kind of interesting to look at. Um, either way, again. Take care, guys. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Whatever you celebrate, I hope it's great. So take it easy, guys. Much love.